We are joined now by Dr. John Peloza from the Dallas Center for Spine Care, who performed the procedure as part of the national study that has under, that they've undergone with this procedure. And we're also joined by Sue Wayne, who was one of the first people in the clinical study to undergo the treatment. And I gather this was, you, you were one of the first people to ever have this operation? Yes. When did you have it? April of 98. So less than a year ago. Less than so a year this ago. is very, very new, Dr. Pelosi. Yes, it is. Um, and tell me what it is. Well, it's a procedure where we actually manipulate the collagen of the disc. We're, we're uh, heating the collagen, thereby shrinking it and allow it, allowing it to remodel or heal to restore the functional integrity of the disc. Well, we have some pictures of this. Before we go to those, though, explain to me, this is designed to, to replace disc fusion, right? It's an alternative to fusion. Uh, fusions still work. They're still done. They still will probably always be done to some extent. But fusions have some significant limitations in, as, uh, in regard to who it's going to work on. So this allows us to uh, help other people that fusions probably would be unpredictable in relieving their pain. All right, we have some pictures of this procedure. You talk me through them. Okay. Uh, this is just a, a rear view of a patient's, uh, of the back of a patient, and it's uh, showing the spine. This is a cross-section of a disc where there's a tear in the disc off to your left, and you see some protrusion of disc material. But before, we, before we move past that picture, a disc, as I understand it, is nothing more than a, a it's like a tiny little beach ball that, that, uh, that cushions each of the, between, the space between each of the vertebrae in the, in the spine, right? Well, that's a good analogy for what it does. It, it withstands loads and transfers a load that you would put on your spine through the disc, uh, and then out into the outer part of the disc called the annulus. And this is where we oftentimes have tears or defects in the disc that can be very painful. I'd like in that picture that we just saw. Correct. All right, let's go to the next picture. This shows the in insertion needle uh, in the disc uh, that's just put through the back as a, a feels like a shot. And it just goes right into the disc. Under We do it under an x-ray control. And then we place a catheter through the needle. The catheter has a heating tip. We navigate around the disc to where the tear is, and then we apply heat to the collagen. Co heat makes collagen shrink, and as it shrinks down, it seals over the tears. And with time, the collagen remodels and gets stronger, thereby toughening up the disc so it can uh, withstand loads again. So you're, I mean, I hate to stick with this analogy, mm -hmm. so you're repairing the, the outside of the beach ball. Yes, it's a reparative process versus something that's uh, more invasive or destructive like a fusion. And when you say you stick this needle in with a catheter, you, you don't have to operate, you don't actually have to cut, you just, you just go in with a, a simple needle and that why, that's why it can be done as outpatient. Right, it's, it's like, uh, almost like a shot. The needle goes in and when we pull the needle, the catheter and the needle out, we just put a band-aid over the skin. So can you describe the experience, what happened? Uh, as Dr. Peloza said, they, you're in the operating room, the needle is injected, um, the heating element lasts for 20 minutes, right. and you're laying there quietly, and when it's finished, you are taken into a recovery room for 30 or 40 minutes, and you stand up and go home, put a brace on and go home. That's, that's amazing, because yeah. I've known people who've, who've had discs repaired, and it's been very, very major and very invasive situation. Did you, did you have, uh, did you have relief from your back pain right away? No, no. And, but Dr. Pelosa had explained to me that it would take several months before I would begin to feel a difference. It was very gradual, but at the end of the second month, I began to notice improvement. How, how bad was your back pain, and how incapacitating was it? I was losing the ability to walk. I couldn't sit. I couldn't stand. I couldn't sleep. It affected my life. And now? Dr. Pelosa gave me my life back. I am exercising every day. I'm working. I'm doing all the things that I've always done. Why did it take a while? Did it take a, it takes a while for that collagen to repair? Yes, the collagen, when it's shortened, has no strength. So it takes a while for it to remodel. And it's taking about, it, it'll remodel for months. Uh, but at about the six-week point when we can start um, exercising the patient, initially we don't allow them to do anything. No lifting, bending, twisting, prolonged mm -hmm. sitting or standing because we don't want to stress that tissue and have it stretch out again. This is an approved procedure now? Uh, yes. Widely available? It's widely available. Widely available. Widely. Okay. All right. Dr. Pelosa, thanks very much. Sue, thank you. Thank you. Very much. Hope you continue to feel better. Thank you very much. All right.